Good evening, listeners. My name is Kwachi Odame. I'm at the studios of Majesty Christian Network, TV Network. Today is Pentecost Day. And I know all Christian churches preach on this theme. And so I don't think I have to bother you more to bring you the same message. But what I want us to look through is the message Pentecost is trying to impart to us. As we might have been heard, this Pentecost is 50 days after the resurrection, or 10 days uh, after Jesus ascend, ascended to heaven. Before Jesus ascended to heaven, he ordered his disciples to be in Jerusalem, to be together, not to separate themselves. And so I will ask, what were they doing when they were together? They didn't know that what Jesus was bringing to them was coming in 10 days' time or in two or three days' time. They were just anticipating that something was going to happen. And so they used this period to prepare themselves. By all means, there may be some grudges among the disciples. But this time period was used to abridge all differences. In other words, to deepen their love for one another. I, so I want us to look at Something from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, the first three verses. I read. If I speak the languages of men and of angels, but do not have love, I'm a sounding gong or a cringing symbol. If I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and I have all faith so that I can move mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. And if I donate all my goods to feed the poor. And if I give my body to be bent, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Very strange. If I give all I have to feed the poor, it doesn't mean that I have love. If I can even move mountains, it doesn't mean that I have love. If I can understand all mysteries, I can speak the tongue, it doesn't mean that I have love. Then, what is love? The same chapter goes on to explain what love is. It says, love is patient, love is kind. Love does not envy. If you go on reading, that you, you, hear, you see a lot 
which come together to make love. And so when you pass one and you fail the other, then you are back to zero. In mathematics, you say plus one and minus one is zero. Or minus one and plus one is zero. And so if you want to show love, then you have to go through all these processes and pass them. You can sell all your possessions and give to the poor, but you may be lacking somewhere. You may be having somebody. You may be stealing something from somewhere. That's why you, you, you never mind selling your things and giving to the poor. The next day you know you will get a, a, a sum. It is very strange. Most Christians will use the speaking of tongues to, to upgrade themselves as if they are so spiritual. To deceive others that, oh, he's pious. But today you have heard that just speaking of the tongues does not make you a godly person. One day, a man and a woman were traveling. They got to a, a restaurant, this type of restaurant, where you have to bear, or there's an intercom at the entrance. So you bear, you tell the receiver your car number and what you want to buy what we usually call a drive-in restaurant. And by the time you get to the uh, 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 driving window, your food will be ready. They just give you the food and you pay. And so this man and that lady in the car rang the intercom, ordered what they want to order. At the time they got to the delivery window, they paid the money, and a bag was given to them. They drove some few kilometers away, got a nice place to sit to eat their food. When they opened the bag, it was full of money. They were shocked. So, oh. Let us return money. The two of them agreed that they have to return the money. It was a whole day's money. It was a lot. And so they went back to the restaurant and gave the money to them. And then when they went, their food was there with their car number attached to it. It was by mistake that money that was to be taken to the bank was given to these people. In fact, the restaurant manager was surprised that we still have some people like these two people, these two people on earth who will bring such money back to the restaurant. And so they were happy. They wanted to popularize, the, pop, pop, popularize this uh, 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 story for the whole world to read. First, they wanted to take the pictures of the, the two. I said, no, 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 we don't want any pictures. OK, your name, so that, he said, no, no publicity. I said, these are truly godly people. They want to do something without showing off. And truly, they'll be blessed by God. But later, it was found out that the lady accompanying the man was somebody's wife. That is why they did not want any publicity. Otherwise, the husband will get to know. How can you be honest with somebody's money and be be dishonest with somebody's wife. You are back to square one. Plus and minus is zero. Brothers and sisters listening to me, this Pentecost will be meaningful to you if only you can show love. 
speak all the tongues in the world. If you have no love, you are nothing. Once, a member of my church came to me, said, Father, he was calling me, Father, why don't you pray in tongues? And I told him, I'm sorry, I don't have that gift. But if you have, you can pray. But I'm sure what you have is not the tongues you learned from somewhere. Because I know the tongue speaking is a gift, the biggest gift, the biggest spiritual gift. If you don't have it, you don't have it. You may have something, another, another gift, which is not tongue speaking. And the one who speaks the tongues may not have the one you have. But what I've seen nowadays is that if you go to church and are not able to speak the tongues, you are a devil. <laughs> and so you need to force yourself. When I was in Ghana, Sunyani precisely, a friend of my wife, who was going to Anglican church, stopped and attended one of these uh, charismatic churches. He went there and everybody was speaking tongues with a session of herself. So the pastor came to you, oh, try, 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 you get it. And so he felt, ah, oh, eyes were on her, that's it. And so, okay, the next day he tried, okay, let me speak anything that there. And the pastor said, very good, very good, it's coming, go on. Don't let us deceive ourselves. And use this tongue speaking to show how powerful you are. It's a gift from God. If you don't have, pray. If God sees that it's good for you to speak tongues, he will give it to you. If he has other things, show him charity, he will give you that gift. The spiritual gifts are several. You cannot have all. Let us all come together and show love so that this day of the Pentecost, which is the pouring of the Holy Spirit, will be beneficial to us all. Let us pray. Gracious Father, give us the spirit of love so that our this precious gift will be meaningful to us and to others. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.